Welcome to Discover Talent Presents. In this series, we are going to cover a topic called Attendance Tracker. How to create Attendance Tracker, what is the use of it and why we are creating, what is the target audience for it, right? So I'll keep a set expectation, right, uh, basis who are the viewers who are watching my videos right now, right? So this target audience is basically for ready now team leads who are looking out for on a growth in their respective companies, right? future leaders, aspiring team leads, supervisors, MIS people who are from um, MIS background, PMOs, Excel users who are using this Excel. For that, this entire series I am preparing. What is the use uh, of this attendance tracker? So, it will help you to give the business insight how many employees are working on that particular day or week or maybe month, right? Basis that we can optimize our cost. Meaning over here, I have just added one liner optimize our calculation for improved business efficiency in MS Excel so without further ado let's get started but if in case you haven't subscribed my channel I would urge you please go and subscribe to my channel so let me move on to the next sheet plotted down the pointers over here workforce management payroll processing compliance legal requirements performance evaluation resource allocation process and task scheduling client and customer service safety and security absenteeism management planning and budgeting so basically we are uh, looking out for an absenteeism management which is your overall concept is getting clear in one go yeah so this is the use when you watch this entire video series i don't know how much duration it would be post the video i'll end up so I would definitely say this would be a investment for you for sure okay in the sheet one I have added one dummy data set like this but uh, with your help with your support right uh, we can start creating this and we start digging the data and we'll start creating a employee related absenteeism tracker in MS Excel right so what I will do without further ado I'll just copy this entire series I'll not take much of time of yours guys okay because I know you all are busy in this days right and hence you all are preferred shots so since I kept a video bit a short I'll add a values okay I'll just start pulling the data from there okay this is my indicates which help me to calculate the entire stuff I'll just paste it over here as is okay and then what I will do I'll just hide this because I don't need this I'll just hide this as well and then I'll go into the sheet one again what is it it's Monday Tuesday Wednesday and so and so forth right week one week two and the absenteeism added over here like this and this is the calculation so let me quickly show you how we are performing this activity in the same way what I will do I'll just insert a couple of more rows on the top of it right and I'll just add a merge and center kind of thing and then I'll insert some sort of logo over here you can add your own uh, logos what type of business you are performing in a small scale, large scale or any company, right? You can definitely add that. I'll just insert this. Just understand the main motto. Accordingly, we can uh, work together to understand or uh, maybe achieve our business goal. Correct. I'll just paste it over here. And then what is it? It's week one and then Monday, Tuesday, so on and so forth, right? So what I will do, I'll just again keep this as a merge and center excel class I will say yeah and this is my uh, organization name just a dummy name again here I'll fill the color and uh, we'll change the graphics over here somewhere and what we will do right now uh, we'll do a week one week two so and so forth so for that uh, I'll add a Monday 
Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, and press like this. What I will do, I'll just remove this and keep it over here for time being, and then I'll select this entire thing, drag it like this. Let's see how it goes, and we'll adjust this selecting cursor like this. I'll delete this, I don't want that. So, this is how it will uh, look like, and what I will do, I'll add a X, X which is my leaves uh, for that particular day so i'll keep it a certain sunday leaves if in case uh, you are working in a company where you have a rotational week ops right so just let me know uh, in the below comment section i'll help you with the particular formula as well so you can add that formula in somewhere right and you will get that uh, populated as well for now i'm just you know showing the dummy data sets right where I have one company dummy company which is excel class and uh, on saturday sunday they have a specific uh, holiday off if in case there is a rotational one you can definitely ping in the below comment section i'll definitely help you out folks yeah no need to worry i'll just make a bold over here and add a highlight like this i'll keep it like this and this is my week one so what i will do i'll just merge center week one and you can keep it a short as well that's completely fine how you want to keep it uh, suppose like this suppose I want to keep because it's taking a lot of space right so I'll keep it like this and uh, like this okay I'll select this again I'll drag on the right hand side okay and uh, when I select this again on the top and I'll adjust this it look like this so this looks good okay neat and clean i'll just again make it a bold and uh, i'll add a orange color over here and i'll keep it this as a merge and center and a rather you know jan month so 2023 zoom bold again i'll keep it color like this or maybe you can just merge it basis your designing skills right folks I'll just adjust this and this is the dummy one we have added adjust the name okay what I will do you know I'll uh, remove this instead I'll insert a formulas bar okay I'll remove this control X here and then I'll just add just like this so I'll get a better visualization because it's again up to you folks okay how you want to go ahead you can do it definitely uh, for now I'm just keeping like this Excel class and then I've inserted one text box and pasted that particular content over here the reason why I did that uh, I want to add a color over here so that's the reason I did that okay so what I will do I'll just adjust this and I'll add a color which will help me to you know whatever weeks we are adding henceforth right so that will not get a merge somewhere right so that's the reason I did that and uh, what I will do again I'll do a size increment over here like this okay and uh, what we can do right now uh, again I right dimension right we can just add a color over here like this we can do that and then from this to this we can add a other color code which we needed correct I'll keep it like uh, this cool so this is uh, what I have prepared so far and uh, now what I will do I'll add a conditional formatting which is here again okay this is the uh, indicates which we have available uh, what I will do I'll just select this conditional formatting new rule and then let me just drag this the left hand side and uh, a format only cell that contains I'll select this O 
over time it is it is not that you know we need to only select this color you can select color as per your choice folks okay that's completely fine containing o okay so i'll just select o and uh, you can just make a formatting wherever you want to i'll select this color okay and uh, i'm good again i'll go on the top new rule format that contains specific text p and then so and so forth so we'll just start adding this uh, entire formatting likewise for absenteeism so on so forth in trim i'm doing this particular activity i would urge you which company currently you are working with you know you can just paste in the uh, your comments in the below section would be a great help me to understand where my video is reaching towards right and uh, accordingly i can create a more assets full video for you guys okay and then leave leave again for me i'll just select this leave so i'll and uh, leave leave for me it's a this and okay cool and last but not the least which is the best one half day yeah everyone prefers half day always instead of leave yeah it is i do yeah so that's the reason i just said um i select a see again i'm selecting as per my uh, own choice folks okay you can select you as per your convince i'll select uh, mm, okay so i'm a bit choosy so that's what you know i need a color like this half day okay i'll select this okay cool okay so now what we can do uh will start adding a absenteeism presentee you know whatever status for that uh, particular day we can start adding that and for that uh you need to add that manually or maybe you are maintaining your daily sheet you will definitely get it dump what you have right so i'll just start adding this l and uh, half day so what i will do i'll just do a present 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 over here present 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 cool so far with me folks okay now i want this to be absent and uh, leave again sent now one simple formula i'll not take much time of yours over there okay so that's the reason what i will do i'll just do a copy and paste in the below section as is what we have right and uh, this is how it looks like my overall excel class business attendance right so this is how it looks like so for after that you know what you can do you can just add this uh, entire stuff as a border okay this will look like more neat and clean okay so that's the reason i've just added this and uh, this is how it looks like now and uh, you can add your um, this is your choice right you can definitely play around with the charts but i what i will do i'll just remove this border side because i don't like it personally okay so i'll just remove it now what we can do it okay i'll just hide this entire grid lines i don't need this and uh, whenever you if you are a team lead or maybe if you are acting team lead right just for acting team leads right i'm giving you a heads up for you guys in future uh, whenever you have employees uh, under you right you are going to uh, create your own absenteeism attendance management tracker right where this will help you to manage their own how many hours they have spent it specifically for the workforce folks right so let me add that formula over here okay this is the formula and uh, this is how we are going to paste it right now 
I'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here so if you see right uh, let me zoom in yeah and uh, our range is from D5 so what I will do I'll just select this entire thing D5 until D so what I will do I'll just remove this and select this entire thing and control shift down arrow which will select automatically the bottom segment which I have available data set okay I'll paste this formula in the descriptions as well folks okay so you can leverage from there and accordingly we can create this attendance management tracker so overall for the week one Jan right Jan month week one overall we have 83.4 okay percent folks were available in the company yeah so this is how uh, I have prepared this uh, absenteeism tracker folks and again this will help you to you know payroll processing performance evaluation resource allocation and project task scheduling so on so forth again I hope you found this useful uh, this absenteeism management tracker if in case yes please feel free to um, subscribe my channel and once again thanks for watching and have a great day ahead